Today I'm going to spend a little bit of time uh, showing you how I built this shelf. I was at a friend's place and used her scroll saw and uh, this is what I came up with. <laughs> so let's put a shelf together you guys. <music> So I was at my friend's house and she has uh, access to uh, a brand new scroll saw. So I decided to take advantage and use it. And I made the backs and the sides of this shelf. So then I brought out my miter saw and my miter box and some tongue depressors and some popsicle sticks. And I've decided to cut some shelves for it. So On the right hand of your screen, you'll see the um, Dremel tool that uh, we use so it's a Dremel Modo saw but uh, basically it's like just a miniature scroll saw that just bolts onto your table and they range uh, anywhere from 109 to 129 dollars Canadian so you can see here I've got the two pieces glued together and now I'm going to be gluing in my first shelf which is the bottom shelf and I'm just uh, got out the uh, tacky glue and I'm gluing along the edge and also along the back before I uh, mount it into the little shelf. I like to do this while um, the glue on the sides are still a little bit uh, wet and the reason why is I can just make all the pieces kind of fit together a little bit easier. And again, I just eyeballed this entire thing. So um, the scroll saw work that I did was uh, just kind of off of the top of my head. I didn't really draw much for a pattern. So the top is maybe not as even as what I would want it to be. Um, so if I was going to be doing a fancy piece of furniture, I would draw one half of it and then I would fold it in half so that both sides would be perfectly even. Uh, in this case, I didn't do that, but that's okay. I mean, I was just uh, had a couple of moments with the scroll saw, so I figured, well, I'll just produce something that I can use in one of my houses. So I've got the first shelf there installed and now I'm working on uh, gluing in the second shelf. And uh, yeah, I'm going to put a total of four shelves in total in this little house. So um, I'm actually quite, uh, quite thrilled with uh, the way this turned out. It's pretty good. So, and I think it'll look a lot better off like what, once I've got it either painted or stained. Um, for now, um, just in the raw wood, it's nothing special, but once it's stained up, I'm sure it'll look just beautiful. So um, the big secret to doing a nice job though is, is you have to absolutely have to make sure that you remove all excess glue from all of the joints. If you don't do that, when you go back in to try and stain it, everywhere where there's uh, um, glue, um, the stain will not adhere to it. So it's, I cannot stress how important it is that you don't have any excess glue at all. So having a, a clean toothpick handy to be able to get into all of the corners is really what you need. So you can see here, I've got the first two shelves in and I'm just kind of manipulating it a little bit to make sure that I've got the shelves nice and level and even. So um, you can see at the top I've got a little bit of sanding I'm going to have to do in order to make it look just right but uh, I'll get after that. So now I'm going to put in the next two shelves and I don't know if you can see from the angle that I'm showing you, but this piece is a popsicle stick. And this piece here is a tongue depressor. So the two bottom shells were made out of the tongue depressor. The two top shells are made out of a popsicle stick, which is much thinner. 
So once again, I'm just uh, uh, adding a little bit of glue to the backs and the sides and I'm giving it a quick last sanding just to make sure that there's no rough edges. So the more prep work you do before you glue it together, the very better it will turn out. Um, you want to make sure that you get a nice even amount of glue but not an excessive amount of glue because you don't want it oozing all over the place. So I'm just putting again the glue on the sides and on the back and then I will tuck it into place. So I'm quite pleased with uh, um, the design of this. It's I think uh, kind of classically antique looking and uh, it'll be it'll be just great for displaying a bunch of miniatures on like in my opinion you can't have enough bookshelves or this type of furniture in a dollhouse setting because you want to be able to put all your books and knickknacks and whatnots on it so so there you go so now i'm just getting the very last shelf ready to mount and again putting glue on the sides and again on the back and then I'll put that in so yeah I'm uh, even though these are different kinds of wood um, once they're stained they'll all look very similar uh, quite often for stain I will just use burnt umber paint watered down and I put it on quite lavishly and then wipe it off with a rag and that seems to be the stain color that I tend to like the very best so um, and again I've got that in and it looks nice and even although it's a little bit out of frame I think that that looks pretty good so um, I might have to manipulate the shelves just a little bit just to make them a little bit more level so once again I'm going in and I'm removing all that excess so and that's so important so um, I'm just kind of wiping all the excess off and making sure that I don't have uh, any glue oozing all over the place and yeah I'm quite pleased with the way that looks although I have to say I'm not really a huge fan of uh, that top corner I'm gonna have to go back in and sand that just to make it a little bit more level you can see it's quite level on the right side but on the left side it's kind of sticking out so yeah I'm gonna have to attack that with a little bit of sandpaper not a doubt so there so yeah so I'm gonna have to let that dry nicely before I move on to the next thing that I want to do so um, I'm just doing my final adjustments because once it's all glued together you can't really move it around so it's better to do it while you know the glue is still a little bit tacky and wet so um, so I'm just putting the glue away here um, I'm not happy with the way the top of the shelf looks so I went through my stash and I found some of these plaster Paris embellishments that my friend Pat made me and I've decided that I'm going to use a little plaster of Paris embellishment. Now I like that last one the best, but I did have to cut it down in order to make it work. So there you go. I'm going to be mounting this on it. And once it's painted or stained, you won't even know that that's a piece of plaster of Paris. It'll just blend in with the furniture. So I have kind of made a decision that I am going to paint this piece, but uh, rather than stain it because I'm adding this little embellishment, but I'm quite sure that uh, it'll look it'll look perfect. Yeah, it'll be really cute once it's done. So I'm just kind of gluing it in as level as I possibly can. And there you go. So I'm going to have to let this dry for a bit. Now, I'm not 100% satisfied with this bottom shelf. I just, uh, well, for one thing, it's a little bit loose, so I'm going to have to add a little bit more glue to it just to sturdy it, make it more sturdy or sturdier, sturdy it up. <laughs> That's the words I was looking for. So I've just uh, grabbed out just a little tiny bit more tacky glue, and I'm just going to add 
a little tinge of glue here just to this one side just to make it uh, so that it's not going to fall apart on me and also make it so that it's better more level so um, so I've just got that glued there in place and yeah that is that is much better for sure although I'm not happy with the depth of that uh, shelf um, it's just not uh, what I want it to look like and you can see that I have now sanded the top corners to make sure that they line up nicely or better with the sides so again the bottom shelf in my opinion is not deep enough so I'm just adding a little bit of extra popsicle stick that I have trimmed down so it's not as wide as a regular popsicle stick I've just trimmed it down so that I can make this shelf look a little bit deeper and that's good too because it'll be able to store more miniatures on it <laughs> so I'm just gonna fit this little last piece in and uh, I think that that will be a much better look for my little my little shelf so and just lining it up so that it's lined up perfectly with the already existing shelf now yes there will be a little bit of a line at the front of the shelf but that's okay I think it'll still look good so and again back in with the q-tip to remove all the excess glue and yeah I'm quite pleased with the way that looks I think that's uh that's much better so you can see where the bottom shelf sticks out a little bit further yeah that's better so if you were using that in the kitchen that would be much better to store groceries in yeah I really like the width of that I think it's a lot better um, I do however don't like how it's just bare at the bottom I just think that it needs a little piece here so I trimmed a tiny piece of uh, popsicle stick it's not very wide at all probably half the width of a popsicle stick and I trimmed it to uh, put in this little bottom piece just to kind of give it a nice finished look so um, I'm putting glue along it and then I also put glue on either side of the little stick and I'm just going to make a little skirt like that. See how much nicer that gives it a really finished look. So now I'm going to have to leave that for at least an hour to dry. Just going to take off the excess glue here and clean it up so that uh, you won't see any of the glue when uh, when uh, the finished product is done. So I have decided um, I'm going to let it sit for an hour and voila, <laughs> okay, it sat for an hour and now I'm painting it with uh, white acrylic paint. So uh, I've decided that white is the color that uh, I'd like to do this little piece out of, but uh, I'm not going to just leave it plain weight. I'm actually going to uh, enhance it by doing some dry brushing after the white is done. So I'm just going over the whole thing with white paint and I won't bore you by showing you the entire paint job, but uh, um, I want it to kind of have like a, a farm look um, when it's done. So uh, something that's maybe sat out for for several years and uh, maybe could use a new paint job so um, this is what it looks like just painted white and it actually is quite nice just the way that is but I'm not quite satisfied with that so um, I'm gonna go upstairs for a little bit and then come back down when the white paint is dry I've got here the paint and primer all in one in this lovely green color it's kind of a nice sage green and what i'm doing is, is i'm just barely dipping the paintbrush into the paint and then wiping it off on a piece of pa paper towel um, off camera um, just so that i can dry brush it and it won't be like a really really heavy uh, green tone to it. it barely has any paint at all on the brush so um, yeah, I, I really like this technique and I think it uh, kind of has a, a nice a nice feel to it. So 
Um, you can see I was a little bit more heavy handed with the uh, uh, little embellishment uh, that's made out of plaster Paris because I wanted that to really, really show up. Um, but the rest of it, I'm just barely dry brushing it. But I want, still do want to put quite a bit on it so that uh, it really stands out. So um, <clears throat> you can see I'm doing the side of it. I'm not really worried if it's a little bit too heavy handed because I'll show you what I do afterwards. So if I get too much green on it, not to worry. I can go back in and dry brush a little bit of white over top of that green and soften it up a little bit, which is uh, what I'm doing now. So um, I've got uh, just a little bit of white on my, uh, on my brush now and I'm just going in and just kind of fixing it up just slightly. So um, yeah, so I, I think that this will make a really lovely addition uh, to one of the houses. Um, um, I do have a shortage of shelves, so I think that this is just excellent for putting some of my um, nicer items that I have. Um, like I've got all of those beautiful ornaments and teapots and whatnot that I got. Uh, at uh, the show and sale that I'd like to put on display. And I would also like to display some more of the books that I made. So I think this shelf will really come in handy for those items. And again, perfect shelf for a kitchen. I mean, this would just be excellent with that big wide shelf on the bottom to store grocery items or a basket of vegetables. That would really come in handy as well. I recognize that this dry brushing technique would not be for everyone, but uh, I really like it. You see here, I got a little heavy handed with the green, so I'm just toning it down just ever so slightly with the white. So yeah, I think I'm pretty pleased with this one. So there you go. There's the final look at it. And uh, as you can see, I've just got just a faint amount of green on it, a little bit everywhere. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. So, um, and I think it'll look really nice. I mean, <clears throat> the next time I get the opportunity to use the scroll saw, I'm going to do a bit better job of cutting, I promise. If you enjoyed today's video and would like to help support my channel, you can do so by buying me a coffee. Just go to www.buymeacoffee.com slash Lisa Dobo. I'd like to thank everyone that has been supporting my channel on buymeacoffee.com. I appreciate it more than you know. And thank you very much for sticking with me and watching this entire video. It's so appreciated. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It doesn't cost anything and it really does help my channel grow. And please hit that notification bell. It'll let you know every time I upload a new video. And I'd love to hear your comments below. Have the best day ever, everyone.